Welcome back, fast food fans. Today on Fast Food Face Off, we're doing the Pizza Apocalypse review. Here's the breakdown a medium pepperoni pizza from both Pizza Hut and Domino's. Both of them got garlic crusts. I know I can't wait to get into it. Let's crush some calories. Fast food face off! Fast food! After borrowing $600 from their mother, founders Dan and Frank Carney opened the first Pizza Hut location in Wichita, Kansas in June of 1958 while still attending college. From encouraging children to read with its Book It program in 1984 to pioneering online ordering in 94, as well as becoming the first pizza company in space in 2001, Pizza Hut's drive and initiative has led them to continued success with over 18,000 locations worldwide. After purchasing an old pizza restaurant in Michigan called Dominic's in 1960 and changing the title to Domino's in 1965, brothers Tom and James Monahan built an American pizza empire that has its delivery drivers covering 10 million miles each week while serving over 1 million pizzas daily. From the memorable Noy character featured in 80s commercials to ad campaigns in 2018 showing repair trucks filling potholes, Domino's has built a lasting legacy within the world of pizza. Okay, first up is gonna be Pizza Hut. Let's see how it goes. So, right away, it's a pretty good looking pie. Anybody who's ever ordered from Pizza Hut or Domino's or any kind of chain pizzeria, uh, what makes them is in the fact that, you know, they, they look like these fresh, great tasting pies that you see in like um, slice shops or, um, you know, your local pizzeria. It's the speed of service and the quality for the value, right? First bite. First impression, a ton of pepperoni on this pepperoni pizza, which I'm pleasantly surprised. A lot of times you'll end up ordering from these places and they tend to skimp on the, you know, the ingredients that you order on them. Props to Pizza Hut for, uh, you know, really kind of murdering this thing out with pepperoni. I got garlic for both of the crusts for these. That's not the traditional crust for Pizza Hut. Garlic crust is kind of the standard for Domino's now. They kind of upgraded their pizza crust, so I thought it would only be fair to kind of put garlic on both of them. Pizza Hut only has like one style of pizza sauce as far as, you know, red sauce and it's the marinara, whereas Domino's has marinara and they also have what they call a robust um, tomato sauce, which is just kind of a, a sweeter, more herbed tomato sauce. When you get into the crust, there's definitely the buttery, garlicky, herby thing kind of going on, which is pleasant and appreciated for this. Pizza Hut's crust, I would say pillowy, a little bit more doughy. When you get their pan pizzas, there's definitely more texture there. I was more of a fan of the pan pizzas. We just kind of went very traditional today, right? The bottom of the crust, not a ton of color, but very good. Very good first impression for Pizza Hut. What a lot of people don't know about Pizza Hut, just a little fun fact, even though Domino's was the pizza that was showcased in the 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, movie, Pizza Hut ended up spending, I think, somewhere in the neighborhood of $20 million to get the endorsement from Domino's to be able to be the pizza that represented Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The new Turbo Gensu! Oh, it dices, it slices! One of the things that I always appreciated more about, I would say, Pizza Hut pizza than even any other fast food chain style pizza, quality of the pepperoni for a fast food chain. It's got texture, there's a little bit of crisp, there's some good uh, flavor there. It doesn't just look like pepperoni and not taste like pepperoni. So I'm on to my third slice. Yes, I am gonna eat and finish all of this pizza, and I'm going to finish all of the other Domino's pizza. I'm gonna try to make it as entertaining for you guys as possible, obviously. I'm not a competitive eater, so it's not like I'm just gonna sit here and just, 
you know, crush through these, but I am uh, just a regular guy with an irregular appetite. I tend to treat these like they're cheat meals, essentially. Something satisfying or almost comforting, eating chain pizza, right? Something about it just, it's very reminiscent of childhood, kind of sleepovers and, you know, playing video games and staying up late and uh, crushing pizza. When I ordered these, I got sides of marinara from both of the companies. The reason being was because I knew once I kind of started getting through about half of these, that I would want maybe something to dip the crust in. Pizza Hut does a more savory style sauce, whereas Domino's, their robust inspired tomato sauce is supposed to be a bit sweeter, but I am curious to see the difference in sugar content from the marinara to the robust pizza sauce from Domino's. When you have it just like this, with almost like some extra sauce, I am getting a lot more of the herb. There's definitely sweetness to this. So we're a little bit more than about to be a little bit more than halfway through. The quality, again, and the value that you get for this is pretty good. So Pizza Hut is a little bit more expensive than Domino's, but marginally so. I'd be curious to see the amount of pepperoni that they put on here in comparison to Domino's. If there's even a marginal amount more pepperoni on this, it's obviously worth it. What I end up doing, you know, it's a little bit behind the scenes magic, right? When I get some of these foods is that I just try to keep them warm. I don't recook them or reconstitute them in any kind of way. In order to give a honest first take for these pizzas, I wanted to do it warm or at least room temperature. Last slice, let's finish her up. So calorically, sometimes it factors into it. Other times it doesn't. The Pizza Hut, I believe, was 210 calories a slice. I'm not positive. And I think the Domino's was 230. So we're on to the Domino's pizza. Let's see how it stacks up against Pizza Hut. Nothing out of the ordinary, pretty much what I expected. Same as Pizza Hut. They make very cookie cutter pies. You can almost guarantee that they're going to look and taste exactly how you remember them. That's one of the perks of ordering from a fast food place is, is consistency, right? First bite. Very different than Pizza Hut. And even more different than I think I remember Domino's being. Right off the bat, Definitely a saltier, savory sauce than Pizza Hut. Not good, bad, or indifferent. I think that that's just a your mileage may vary kind of preference thing. Sometimes people like sweeter or saltier sauces, especially on things like pizza. So you definitely get more of the garlic flavor, I think, on the crust for Domino's, but in a little bit less appealing of a way. The crust for Domino's is definitely different than the crust for Pizza Hut as well, even beyond just the flavors. The crust is a little bit more ready. There's more of a chew to it. There's a more textural component. Let's just kind of start getting through this, right? This marinara is more tangy of a marinara than what Pizza Hut has going on, they completely just went opposite directions, right? Not necessarily better or worse, it's a personal preference, your mileage may vary kind of situation. It is pretty tasty. There is just a very noticeable difference. I understand why people are either Domino's people or Pizza Hut people. Even though they're both fast food pizzas and fast food pepperoni pizza, that's pretty much where the similarities kind of end. Even going to the founders, Domino's Pizza was founded by a guy who dropped out of college, and the irony being, Pizza Hut was founded by two guys while they were in college. 
We're about at the halfway mark. Let's just keep marching along. The original box, which I thought was pretty cool, it had a domino on it, you know, domino, dominoes. The founder was originally gonna put the dots that were on the, the domino itself for the box for each new chain that opened for dominoes, which can kind of tell you the mindset that he was in when he first started the company. Now, I know that most people that are watching this are like, why would you go out of your way to eat two pizzas, Josh, when you could have just very easily eaten a slice or two from each and then kind of called it a day. And for me personally and what I'm trying to do on Fast Food Face Off, the one thing that I saw overwhelmingly on a lot of these review food pages, I never liked the idea of people doing like a whole fast food menu. And realistically, they would take a bite, maybe two if they really enjoyed something, and then say, hey, don't worry, the food's gonna get eaten, trust me. What I always kind of wanted to do on my channel was to do a moderate to even a little bit more than moderate amount of food and to be able to eat it all myself. Know that I'm not wasting any of this food. I just wanted to separate myself from kind of what everyone else was doing. Whatever you see here on this channel, I'm gonna eat it. Enough talking, let's get back to pizza. Also something to note, when you look at these two sauces, this looks like something you would get from like a fast food chain, right? Like the, the nature of the cup and it, it's overly branded. This is from Pizza Hut and it looks like something you would get from a normal local slice shop or corner pizza store, right? It looks like it's homemade. It probably isn't. It probably comes in bags. Good on, I guess, Pizza Hut for a little bit more of the illusion of it looking like it's homemade. Last slice. So, both of the pizzas got them knocked out and uh, we're down to which is the best, right? In my opinion, there it wasn't as close as I thought it was gonna be, but breaking it down, crust for crust, I would have to go with Pizza Hut on this one. The crust for Domino's is just too salty, too garlicky, and I do like salty, I do like garlicky, it just, after a few slices, it becomes too much. If I'm going cheese for cheese, they're both pretty similar, I'll give that one as far as which you prefer. The pepperoni, I gotta give it to Pizza Hut. I think that the actual flavor and texture, kind of the crunchy element of the pepperoni is better here than it is over at Domino's. The sauce, that one too, I'll kind of split it and give it a your mileage may vary. But I would say as a whole, you know, the crust, the cheese, the toppings, the pizza in its entirety, for me, it was a no-brainer, it was an easy choice. I'm team Pizza Hut. I went into this kind of being open-minded because most of the times when I eat pizza, I don't tend to eat fast food pizza. So I had pretty low expectations for both of these companies. But I would say, for me, when you, know, you close your eyes and you think of fast food American chain style pizza, and I just think that Pizza Hut is uh, a lot closer to that mental image for me than, uh, than Domino is. So that does it for us here at Fast Food Face Off. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Please go over to our Instagram and give us a like and a follow there as well. Please comment below and let us know whether or not you're Team Pizza Hut or Team Domino's or some other fast food chain. Also, if you're Team Cold Pizza or Team Hot Pizza. So from us here at Fast Food Face Off, remember, if you are what you eat, always eat amazing.